the same. Administrative Services Commissioner Claire Axum lied over jury says for $6,000 in damages. Geraldine Elder, former head of Parks and Recreation, was hit the hardest 50-gallon water bucket. Wait, firefighters, what? Moscow's promise to halt the deployment of medium-range missiles saying a freeze would leave the Soviets with a huge advantage in the number of weapons. Also, firefighters in North Carolina don't know when they'll be able to contain brush fires that have already blackened thousands of acres. And a once forbidden style of music whams into Beijing, leaving the Chinese capital rocking. everyone. New Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev says he's prepared to demonstrate his goodwill, but the White House says there's nothing new in his promise to freeze the number of medium-range missiles. The new leader with an opportunity to take a new direction, and instead what we've had is a discredited proposal that was... In an interview in the Communist Party newspaper Pravda, Gorbachev said intent to improve relations between Moscow and Washington. It appeared that the new Soviet leader wanted new and perhaps better relations with Washington. In what Pravda called a... In the headlines, firefighters in North Carolina have contained a 10-mile wide blaze that has blackened some 90,000 acres. Cambridge, Massachusetts is defined president. The city council voted 5 to 4 to make Cambridge a sanctuary for Latin American refugees. Mayor later today says the great incumbent Tom Bradley is headed for victory and a fourth term in office. And former first daughter Amy Carter was one of three people arrested during demonstrations outside the South African embassy in Washington. Amy says she had her father's approval. With the top stories, I'm Mike Kelly. Thank you.